Facing their first Division I opponent in over 11 years, the Albright College men's basketball team surprised Cornell early and led for the majority of the first half before falling off in a 78-60 loss Saturday afternoon at the Newman Arena. Senior Derek Hall turned in a double-double against top-class opposition with 15 points and 13 rebounds. Junior Dave Singleton, the only Lion with Division I experience, had 13 points and 8 boards. It wasn't the start that many were expecting as Albright did not trail until the final six plus minutes of the first half. Kyle Jordan, who finished with seven points, rejected his Cornell counterparts on the Big Reds' first two possessions, and Hall put Albright up 2 nothing with a putback on his own miss before Shane Irwin made it 4 nothing with a nice cut to the rim. A pair of Cornell Mickens free throws immediately after the first media timeout put the Lions up 10 to 7. After a tough pull-up jumper from Mickens, Jordan had the highlight of the night, blowing past his man and throwing down a thunderous two-hand dunk in traffic. That effort put the Lions up 14-9, and they later led 18-14 when Singleton took his man one-on-one -on -one in transition. Albright finally started to struggle against the more athletic Big Red defenders, going 7 minutes and 20 seconds without a point before Jordan's transition basket finally broke the streak and made it 24-20 Cornell. Down 27-20 after a Drew Ferry 3, Mickens saved a possession by chasing down a loose ball, then took his man to the hoop with a tough left-handed play. Singleton ended the half with a little trickery, throwing an inbounds off his defender's back and finishing the easy lay-in. The Lions continued to show some fight as Singleton found Hall with a nice wraparound pass and Jordan picked his defender's pocket, leading to a free throw as Albright cut the deficit to 45-29. Down by 19, junior Zach Benjamin came up big on consecutive baskets, the second on a trailing putback to make it 54-39 Cornell. Albright, 9-4 and 0-2 and and in conference play, will resume Commonwealth play on Wednesday at Messiah and will look to bring some of the momentum from today's positive performances into a crucial stretch of league games.